Hello, welcome to Yelvin and Prairie Farm. Finally, we have some spring sunshine uh, and we have decided to come out and show you what's going on out in the field and talk about pruning king proteas. Lots of people have been asking what they do when their flowers, the plants are flowering, where to cut them and to get the best shaped plant. Uh, these plants that you see before us are five years rising six. Uh, at this age, really, you're trying to build framework. Uh, they are linotubia, which means they can be cut back as they get older but it's still advisable to leave some spurs to build that infrastructure with the idea being that as they do get older, you're able to bring those really tall arms that can come along over time back down and keep them kind of nice size for your garden. Uh, in this case, we've got the Arctic Ice, which is a beautiful white hybrid. Uh, you can see where we've already had spurs left and they would have been cut last year and we've got long stems that will be next season's growth. What I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna follow this. I'm gonna leave a spur about yay long, uh, and that'll shoot off, and we'll kind of see that kind of growth within the next few seasons. You can see that as they swell up at the leaf nodes, they'll shoot up, and you're trying to leave spurs that are at 45. You can see how these leaf nodes down here are swelling up, and even right down in the corner. So over time, you find that by cutting them back, these will regenerate, and you're able to get a lot more longevity out of your plants. Uh, as this summer sun starts to come towards us, it's a great time to be getting that kind of last dash of fertiliser onto the plants. Obviously remembering that their native blend mix is what we recommend. Uh, and yeah, you'll get to keep the water up to them and you'll see this nice gloss stay in the plants. Uh, happy gardening and enjoy spring.